just a quick brief uh, way to uh, get some uh, better energy efficiency out of an old fridge and uh, one of those is through cleaning the uh, evaporator coil or the condenser coil sorry and that's the outdoor coil generally on anything mid 90s or early 90s and newer is uh, gonna be on the bottom of the refrigerator and uh, my flashlight See if you guys can see in there or not, but it's really nasty. And I've noticed that uh, a lot of the lint and stuff kind of builds up around here, so I know it's not really pushing it out. And I can see it's just absolutely disgusting. And for uh, when I first started my career in HVAC, I actually worked for Sears doing uh, warranty work and maintenance. And um, one of the big things is uh, cleaning out on the bottom of these refrigerators. Now, getting access to them. Is all different. Most of the time, they're uh, access through the front. Sometimes you have to go through the back. The proper way is to do front and back cleaning. Uh, in this video, I'm just going to do the front, and then another video, I'm going to do the back side. So, uh, first thing is you're going to want to shut your refrigerator off. So I'm going to open it up, and you can either unplug it if that's uh, easier for you, or if you have an on-off switch. And I don't know if if this one, if we do, a lot of refrigerators you can swing the uh, thing all the way to off but this is a whirlpool whirlpool uh, model et 18 pk and on the sticker here it was manufactured in march of 97. so this does have the newer uh, 134a refrigerant which started about 1994. so let's just see if i can okay there's the off I'll just shut it off and uh, the big thing on these is not knowing um, kind of the easiest way to uh, to open them sometimes if you go to the corner there's a screw um, the screw you actually see right there is the uh, jacking screw to, to level this out so that's not what we're looking for and uh, a lot of these have pressing clippings or the screw will be on the side here um, usually on either side and it's pretty accessible so I can tell there's not one here and I'm not familiar I haven't done anything with this fridge yet um, so I'm just gonna kind of play around and see if I can figure it out without breaking anything okay yeah so it's just a clip on Ooh, that thing is nasty and you can see it just has these uh, clips these squeeze clips and uh and those just press right in and you can just see that thing is just compacted full it's nasty and uh and then there's a little drain pan there for when it goes through defrost it drains water usually they're on the back side now around the compressor and uh and then it uh, evaporates off so it's good to get that out and clean that out so i'm just gonna pull all this out and then uh and then what you want to use is a, a brush like this and just start poking it in here and you pull all this nastiness out like that and then I got a shot back and I'm, I'm not going to do it on the video but basically you just shot back it out keep brushing vacuum brush vacuum and uh, I'll do that here and then we'll come back after I vacuum this out and see if uh, see if it looks any better. So I just got the uh, drain pan pulled out here. Just wanted to show you real quick how nasty this thing is. It's actually not too bad considering it's probably uh, never really been cleaned before. It's hard to say. This thing was so dirty, the uh, evaporator coil that uh, I'm guessing it had never been clean. And it's a world of difference now. So it took a while with the brush and vacuuming. And I'll see if you can see how if I can get a good angle on this thing. And uh, you see, this is a, a double sandwich condenser. It kind of curls around there, so you got to got to kind of get the brush on the top and the bottom on all sides if you can. This one had enough space. Uh, I was able to do it on top, but I couldn't get underneath the bottom really that well. But the vacuum and brushing it got it really clean. I cleaned off the sides there, and uh, but to the very back around the compressor and where the fan is. It's probably got a lot of junk on it and I'm gonna to need to clean that off so 
Just want to show you guys that quick part and then uh, stay tuned for the second video and uh, I'll show you uh, on the back side on cleaning that and I should have done a, a comparison with the uh, putting on the uh, power of the watt meter on the plug-in but uh, I just kind of want to get this done real quick today and uh, show you guys so I'm, it's going to make a world of difference. I know this thing just was always running all the time so should be a lot more efficient now. Thanks for watching.